I think the, the basically the difference between the Viper Times and the, the follower bands is it's the it's the innocence. Um, when we were teenagers and we were supposed just to you know play football as every Brazilian I mean, we did play football, but at the same time, we also put up a band. And uh, of course, nobody knew how to play anything back then, but we were interested in music and we, we started to learn by ourselves. But the feeling of innocence, the feeling of, I mean, the, the whole passion for the music, it started there. Something is still Somehow I feel that I carry it inside. Uh, and it's, it's a gift probably from those times. They, they, they have grown inside of us uh, as, a, as a seed, you know, as a plant that uh, you always bring along and uh, After this, I think, you know, the bands became way more professional, even more serious. Um, but I'm thankful that I still carry this seed that uh, I, I started to cultivate back then when I was a teenager. Well, if I have the chance to to give an advice to young musicians and uh, to boys and girls who are starting to play an instrument, I would tell them, first you should try to learn piano. You might choose another instrument later or not but to have the to have the, the knowledge about music based on the piano playing i think it's very very uh, useful and uh, i mean for me the the piano playing is is like uh, it's something that was always there at a certain point in my life i I really had to take a, a choice. I, I had to decide whether I would become a classical musician and uh, an actual piano player, or if I would follow my path with a band. And that was actually my, my choice. It was the second one, because I thought that in this sense, I could have much more freedom to express myself. The funny thing is that I didn't start up as a singer at all. I started in music with uh, piano, playing the piano, the classical piano. And when I joined Viper, my first band, they wanted me there as a singer. But I, I remember I told them, I, I'm not a singer, I am a piano player. I didn't even say keyboard player, I think I said piano player. I'm not a singer, I, I don't know how to sing, I cannot do that. And they said, no, 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 but we want you to be the singer. I said, but why, I just play the piano. No, because you, you probably are the one who sings the, the least worse of us all. And uh, on top, uh, we think you would look a little bit like Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, so it might help. <laughs> I said, okay, I can try. So in the end, I didn't play keyboards in this band. I was basically singing 
And it was cool, it was fine. It was a chance to develop something that later on I, uh, I became also more fascinated about. But I think a big part of my singing uh, comes from my piano playing. In a live situation, it's very important. If the vocalist is not 100% there and not 100% convincing, um, I think the band would, would, would be in trouble. But it shouldn't be something like uh, faked. Um, I think that you really must feel it. There is something uh, special out there when you step on stage and you start to have this kind of communication. But you must be 100% there. You must be with your full soul in what you're doing. And you must deliver it. So it's very important, I think, in, in my opinion, to, to be concentrated uh, before a concert, and uh, this for me is really is really sacred. You know, it's like I need my moments before the concert so I can start to get into this mood because it is a real transformation.